So this right here is what ChatGPT 4 gave me when I asked it to create an article with the following title. As you see, it is a big wall of text and even down here, not joking, it put a Rick Ashley, the Rick Roll video on the article about dogs. So it doesn't make any sense. And this is an article written by Journalist AI with the same title. It has a featured image, a proper table of contents, proper content structuring with in article images, internal links as you see here, external links, more images, even as relevant videos that are relevant to what the content is about, right? This is the difference between ChatGPT 4.0 and Journalist AI. So with that out of the way, clearly Journalist AI is the winner, but not just because of how the content is written, right? Not just because it doesn't provide you with just a big wall of text, but also because of the automation, which is the missing feature in GPT. So I'm gonna go over why you should not be using GPT-4 for SEO, you should do this instead, this being using Journalist AI, because it has all the automation. It allows you to write, publish, index, and syndicate to social media properly SEO-optimized content. I wanna go over a couple of case studies of real businesses using and leveraging this. For example, Luca right here, he, uh, these results were actually impressive for the nightlife niche. He was making $10,000 a month off of the site, and there's proof for that. I'll leave a link down below for the case studies. Um, even SEM Rush, the billion dollar company, commented impressive results, because in fact, both of these are impressive results. The growth in a short amount of time was insane. This is another big, big company, a multi-seven, eight-figure company called Rova. They're a FinTech company company, sorry, they just bought a bank for 35 million euros as you see here, and they're planning to hire over 100 people by the end of the year. And they grew with AI content. This is the growth with AI content, both in terms of traffic and organic keywords. This is a screenshot from their Google search console. And there's more. If you want to see it, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'll, I'll record a video on this, but there's more over and over and over uh, again, results from leveraging AI content. Now, I want to go over how you can fully automate your blog with AI, because it's not just about writing the content, right? Firstly, this content isn't great because I mean, it's not great at all. You want to be able to write feature-rich content, right? Content that your users actually want to read. So content that makes them stick and read through the article. Again, that includes having proper in-article images. They're all done with AI, by the way. Links to other blog posts of yours, maybe to your homepage, maybe to your contacts page, maybe to your Shopify store, right? And also adding relevant videos that make sense according to what the context of the article is about. And more than that, we're talking about automation, right? So we're talking about how you can connect this AI with your site, right? And have it automatically post articles to it, right? Because the thing with the journal CI is that you can have this article right here, you can just click here, post to integration. And if I click this button, it's gonna be automatically sent to my site. My site can be anything I want, really. I can connect this with WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, Blogger, even Zapier, or if you're a custom site, you can do external API. But the good part about this is that I don't have to go into ChatGPT and copy this awful article, or even here, I don't have to go to here and copy this article and uh, like this, I can if I want, I can even zip it if I like, but I don't, I can just click this button, it's gonna be posting it straight to my integration. Now, I can publish it in a draft form, so that maybe me or my um, team members can actually proof it a bit and actually do some changes and put it live, but if I want, I can just publish it live if I like, okay? Now, after that, after the automatic posting, you can also, of course, the articles that we, we write, that our AI writes, are feature rich. So again, not just a big old text like ChatGPT with irrelevant videos, right? proper actual articles, proper tables of contents, proper content structuring, internal links, external links, bullets, tables, uh, quotes, as you see here, in-article images, in-article videos that are relevant to what the content is about. So feature-rich articles, right? And on top of that, once the articles are posted to your site, we can automatically syndicate them to your social media accounts. So we'll create a custom uh, social media caption and syndicate the blog posts, your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all those other social media platforms. Now on top of that, we also, as soon as an article is posted to your brand, we automatically submit it to Google for fast indexing. So instead of you having to go to inside Google Search Console and doing it all manually, we'll do it all for you. So again, what this does is you can connect, right, this AI right here with your website, whether that's a WordPress site, whatever that's called website, right? And it's gonna be automatically generating plus publishing the content to your site, plus indexing it, right? And as soon as the blog posts are published to your site, we can automatically syndicate them to social media. Now, you can automate all this with an automatic blog. If you go here to blog automation, new auto blog, you can have the AI write as many articles as you want, let's do five, and publish them every week. So Monday through Friday, the AI is gonna be generating five unique articles, right? Just like the ones you saw before with images, videos, all that, and automatically publish them to your site. So five a week, Monday through Friday. And you can automate the whole process, right? You can have the AI do all of this automatically for you. Writing, publishing, indexing, um, submitting it to social media, right? And again, we connect with all these platforms, we add internal links, we add external links to, to cement and ferment 
uh, or to make sure that your blog post uh, is linking out to proper authority sources when you make some claims, right? And we automate the whole process of publishing. And again, the articles look like the ones you just saw. So not just some randomly thrown together AI, AI, I think, AI thing, sorry, actual proper articles that are available to what the user is searching for. So there are two reasons then not to use ChatGPT for SEO. First is the quality of the content. It is not good at all. I mean, of course, you can change and play around with the prompts, but what I wrote here, the prompt was write an article with the following title, the most uh, kid-friendly log read for 2024, add links, images, and videos to it, right? Which is the exact same prompt I added here, right? When I wanted to generate an article, I just went here and I wrote, I took this title, right? I paste it in here as such, and I just select one article, click generate. Of course, I added enabled videos, I enabled, oh, I enabled images too. In article images, I chose AI-based images. I enabled in linking, internal and external, and I just click generate. And the article that generated was the one that I just saw, which is, I mean, with just a few seconds, a properly written article that automatically interlinks to other blog posts I've written to other pages on my site, to external sources. So it does so much more than what ChatGPT does. It is a fully automated tool. It automates the whole process, not just the process of writing. Again, I'm gonna repeat myself, but not just the process of writing the whole article, right? Adding things to it that make it a better experience for the users. Linking out to other blog posts maybe you've written in the past. Linking out to your homepage. If you're a service-based business, maybe linking out to your contacts page. Maybe linking out to your Shopify store. And then, of course, if you make some claims, sorry, maybe linking out to Wikipedia, who knows, maybe TechCrunch, all these authoritative sources in your niche. And then, not just writing a properly optimized SEO a piece of media with linking to your brand and to your, and making sure that it's on brand, it also automates the whole process of publishing, indexing, syndicating to social media all this for you automatically and does a bunch more stuff. This linking feature right here is amazing. It essentially allows you to connect your site and we'll take a look at already published blog posts, like old blog posts on your site. Let's say this was posted like a year ago, two years ago, and this was posted six months ago. And you'll read through all these old already posted blog posts, you will analyze them and we will suggest places where you can add new links to. So essentially it's gonna be freshening up or freshening up old blog posts of yours with new content. Super, super powerful to repurpose old posts. And this, this news feature, I want to dive, dive into this right now, but it is great as well. So yeah, that's the whole thing. That's why I think you should not be using ChatGPT for SEO. Again, first, because the content is not really that great. And then because it's lacking the automation part of it, right? The whole automation part of it, generating, publishing, indexing, all that stuff for you. So if you want to give it a go, if you want to try this out, just go to tryjournalist.com. Uh, and uh, by the way, if you want to really try it out, if you want a coupon code, just open this chat bubble right here. Tell them you came from this video, copy the video URL, paste it here, say, listen, I came from this video, I want a 10% discount. And we'll give you a 10% coupon code so you don't pay full price. Thank you so much for watching. That's it. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.